Hi, this is Guy Schwartz, and you're watching Hippies TV. You can call my name. I have no idea where or when I first met little Joe Washington. I have an old picture in which we both have shorter, funnier haircuts, but neither of us can remember where or when we met in the 70s or 80s. I've probably spent something like 100 days with little Joe over the past 20 or 30 years. On several dozen of those nights, we ran around town doing Joe's unique brand of busking. Instead of playing on a street corner or outside of a museum with an open guitar case for donations, Little Joe Washington has found a way to sing for his supper on stage at other people's gigs. It's an amazing thing that many could not get away with if they tried. Little Joe doesn't really have bandmates. He's a one-man tornado who blows into the room and onto the stage and blows back out. Even if they've played with Little Joe a hundred times before, any musician on stage for that moment is an innocent bystander, as affected by each twist and turn of Joe's little body or guitar as those seeing Joe for the very first time. This is down here. Right. And we just live close to right, right in the middle of the boulevard. See, this used to be Bill. Get out of that truck! Everybody know. <laughs> I don't see little Joe in any of the ways he's usually portrayed in print. I don't see him as the crazy wild man we see on stage. I see little Joe as a fellow musician, as a genius musician. I've seen the crazy wild blues man that everybody knows too. He plays it well on stage and off, but that's only a small part of the little Joe Washington I know. Joe Washington walks up onto the stage. You gotta recognize the, the little Joe I know can be holding an intelligent conversation as we walk from the car to the venue, only to see him swagger and stumble incoherently for the folks the moment we walk through the door. I've been having a long time. They never made the tunes, because I don't Little Joe grew up in the historic Third Ward neighborhood of Houston. 
And this is where your house was. Right. Right there on the same block was Albert Collins and Joe Guitar Hughes. In fact, Little Joe's name comes from the fact that there was Joe Guitar and then there was Little Joe. There's a lean-to on the lot where Joe's house used to be. His family home burned down quite a while ago, and he lived in a lean-to out front. He lived in a car that wasn't working, and eventually wound up on the streets, riding his bicycle all night long. And, and again, they put all my stuff out that were me, and they call it junk. <laughs> you see? So it don't bother me. It's not the first time. Mary do the same thing too, Continental too. Everybody putting this you out. That's what I'm saying, that's going to be my next tune. You want headphones, Joe? Well, Little I Joe Washington in the house. I want to tell the world. Well, tell the world what? A, I don't know what time it is. Right I've been smoking all day and all night. Ever since they stole my bike, they stole my woman, and everything too. They put everything out, outside. He said, Joe, I don't want your money. I hope everybody can play with me because I'm going to my G to my G. Thank you, my brother. That's playing. You gonna help me? Be a friend, son. I say I'm playing music for the world. Now you come to your seat. See to your seat, man.
That's the one Sonny put together, right? Yeah. The t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Beautiful t-shirt. He's a good man. He's a good man. And people let me have these shirts. And them fools over there. Like, man, them fools. They throw them. I don't know where they throw them. God. That one time I them down. Trying to do a bull fight. Trying to do a bull fight? Well, here we go. Put it out there. See what it looks like on the video. <laughs> you got me. I know you're dangerous, man. Yeah, okay. Not me. The fish. Now, this is the best. See, you the one that has to do the best. No matter what you do, it's all you do is like, I just do the best. You know where the, uh, is that the community? The community on, on Alabama? Opa? Huh? That's where the Lord is right there. You got to know. The Lloyd Parker? You know it? Yeah. Yeah, look, Joe, watch me some money and then put all my clothes outside. Me too. But I got another apartment, but guess what? I'm ripping and running and stealing bicycles. That's all right. They're trying to steal when I get five. And all of them are junk. But my stuff is not junk, ladies and gentlemen. And, and Joe speaks for all of us when he says that. That's right. Because it's not a treasure. It's money, honey. Roger just disappeared. That's all right. I paid my fee. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. I, mean, I think it's coffee. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're going to do some things. Watch this. Whoa, Joe. That's all right. I got him. Hey. Uh, hello. I think I'm losing my cool. Can you help me, young lady? Young man, help me. I'm losing my cool. You know, I ain't got my hat. And, uh, those ladies don't have my hat anyway. Can you get us a kid out here? Say what? Not for that kitty. I thought, do you see my mother? Some type of kitty. Uh, a jar, a hat. Some, some way of... Ah.
Are the people ready for little Joe Washington? Are the people ready for little Joe Washington? Okay, man, this, this, guy, this guy practically means the blues here in Houston. I'm going to do something for God. Today is his birthday. Way too far apart. I'm 26 and he'll be about 28. I'm not going to tell you your age.
Hey, you need pictures here, man. I like the red boots. Thank you, baby. Not gonna lie. Tonight we're in Marlowe's LTD. Oh, y'all. That's some vino? Vino. Vino. Pretty good. How about you?